What difference does it make that that the child that Mary holds is the creator of the universe? Mm. I mean, that's the emphasis mm. of John chapter one. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The yes. Word's with God. Okay. Uh, the Word was made flesh to mm. dwell in our midst. Yes, uh, we're we're talking about the unique center of what is at the core of the Christian faith. Now, we, we want to talk about the cross of Christ and the resurrection. But again, if Jesus is just a, another human being and not a, a the good incarnate, teacher. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, right. Then um, the Romans crucified just hundreds man. of thousands of people. Sure. His story is nothing unique. Precisely. Yeah. On the other hand, if he is not fully uh, human, human and he is simply, well, let, let me give a term here uh, that, uh, of a school of thought, a heresy that developed as time went by in the second century. It's mm -hmm. called docetism. Yes. Does that name ring a bell from your own uh, yeah, that, studies? Right. Yeah. Docetism. It comes from the Greek word dokeo, which means to appear to be the case or to right. seem to be. And there were those uh, in the early church, second century and, and so on, that said, oh, Jesus just appeared to be human. Right. If he just appeared to be human, but not fully human, then what, is it, what does the cross have to do with us? Mm -hmm. Because we are we're human. We are all too human. We are. And if that is not one of us who mm -hmm. suffers on our behalf, then how does that relate to us? Yes. So the, the central yes. affirmation of fully God, fully man, veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity, mm -hmm. is that apart from that, the whole business of the cross becomes irrelevant. It does. Or we, but you know, you are familiar with those who want to speak of Jesus as um, a, a fine example, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody who was noble. Even the atheist philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche had a certain level of admiration for Jesus yeah, sure. because he did uh, uh, went against the prevailing trends mm -hmm. of society, and Nietzsche was all for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, is this just a noble effort on the part of Jesus mm -hmm. when he is then uh, crucified as a martyr? Yeah. Or is there something of, of deeper, more profound significance where the full Humanity. brokenness of a corrupted creation is addressed on yeah. the cross? 